uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Texas Pledge, honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Remain standing for a moment of silence. Go. Hey, Jillian. Hey, Coach Aaron. You having a good Friday? Yes, sir. I know I am, too. It's a great day. It's going to be an awesome day today. I really do look forward to this day. All right, today's weather will be a high of 72, a low of? A low of 52. And a 20%, a slight chance of rain. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, guys. The Grizzly Pride Parade. Woo, that's going to be fun. Now, we're not going to come by your house, are we? Because you're going to be with... Coach Aria. Coach Aria. So we're going to be driving around with all the teachers in the parade. And since the teachers and staff at Gilbert miss their Grizzlies so much, we're going to have a car parade. That's going to occur today between 1 and 4 o'clock p.m. And your teachers should have shared with you on Google Classroom or Seesawed, okay, uh, the directions about the parade. Let's go over a little bit how the spectators, that's you Grizzlies, should act during the parade. All spectators must maintain social distance, six feet apart from others. Now, if you're with your family, do you have to stay six feet apart? No, sir. no. but you want to stay at least six feet apart from your neighbors. Do not come near the cars, okay, but feel free to show some school spirit. We look forward to seeing you guys out there. Now, if you have a question on what time we'll be coming by, uh, your teachers shared with you a map, and it has zones on it. There's 10 zones, and you find the street that's in your zone and figure up the time, and that's when we ought to be by, right around that time. Ms. Rios uh, and Mr. Joe Rios uh, worked on our map. So thank you very much for doing that. Okay, now we're gonna have our video from Camp, Camp Pettis. Coach Pettis is talk, be the last person this week to talk about our word of the week of loyalty. All right, and here's Coach Pettis' video. Hello, Grizzlies, Coach Pettis here with uh, Eduardo. We just got done over here at uh, Camp Coach Pettis and uh, Eduardo's camp, baseball camp. Alejandro got done, they worked out, we did some weights, uh, did some catching, some leg weights. And agility. And some agility stuff in the back. Now we're in the front, because we got uh, some stuff going on in the back right now. Uh, we're, we're just sitting here thinking about uh, the day. And I know Coach already came up with the word uh, of the week, which is loyalty, or being loyal, okay? Eduardo, what is loyal to me? What does it mean to you, my man? Uh, to me, it means to like, like honor and appreciate, um, like your teachers, your, like your baseball team, your team, um, your brothers, your family. Mm, I and, like that. Um, people who look out, look out for you and care for you. That's correct, man. I like that, dude. Awesome, man. Right off the cuff, man. Hey, so that's that's right it. That's it, man. Loyal, being loyal, stay true to your team. You know, like my Patriots, uh, one of those team, the the Capel Cowboys. Um, you know, he's been on that team for a while. You know, uh, there's a lot of teams out there, and I'm sure that uh, they're really good. But we decide to to stay with those teams. So um, yeah, just like Eduardo says, you know, just be loyal. Uh, you want to be with around the group that's. You can trust you can they can appreciate your work and you appreciate them as well in return so you know try try to keep try to keep it going you know a lot of examples out there um, you know staying staying with the same uh, concepts that you have the same ideas there's a ton of them the, a ton of options that you have and and opportunities that you have find something and just stay true to it and, and stay loyal I know that you guys, especially the fifth graders and fourth graders, are going to move along pretty soon to middle school. 
um, and then you become like an Austin Bronco, Days of Isla Hawk, uh, Travis Bobcat, um, a Bowie Cub, uh, Crockett Cougar, what else is out there? Uh, Lady Bird Johnson Eagle, um, what other teams? Uh, Lamar Lions. Um, but overall, you're gonna go to a high school, Irving High, Irving High Tigers, MacArthur Cardinals, Nimitz Vikings, the Singley Phoenix. Um, but in all, you know, and putting it in perspective, I think what you need to understand that when you're a grizzly, you're always a grizzly. Okay, once a grizzly, always a grizzly. We had some uh, grizzlies who graduated with some scholarships from the uh, Irving Schools Foundation, and they received the scholarship from Grit from uh, F.M. Gilbert. Okay, the I believe it's called the uh, Once a Grizzly, Always a Grizzly scholarship. So congratulations to those three uh, students. All right, um, you guys are awesome. Continue to stay loyal and um, keep learning, guys. We we got about three more weeks, and then only two months, and we start up again. Okay, so we'll see you guys very soon. And don't forget, tomorrow we have our uh, FM Gilbert parade. So uh, we're going to go out there and try to celebrate you guys and stay safe and be healthy. All right, get your claws up when you see us. All right, Grizzlies, we take care, bud. Bye-bye. Great job, and thank you. Thank you, Coach Pettis. Thank you, Coach Pettis. All right, our new word of the week for next week is trustworthy. Okay. Trustworthy. What do you see in that picture, Jillian? A few airplanes that have dust flying all over the sky. Okay, have, they have dust flying all over the sky. That would be the Blue Angels. Yeah. That's a close-up picture of the Blue Angels. How many Blue Angels do you see there, Jillian? Six Blue Angels. Six of them. And did you know that they have to be trustworthy with each other uh -huh. so that they can They've got to trust each other uh -huh. because when they do all their maneuvers and they do all their flying around, if you can't trust each other, what happens? They can't trust each other. They might bump into each other. They might bump into yeah. each other or fall out of the sky and hurt somebody. Or maybe, like, they might get someone hurt. Right. So they're, they're trustworthy with one another, right? Mm -hmm. They trust each other, just like Grizzlies do at our school. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's like Coach Pettis and I, Mr. Donaghy and Miss Allred, we all trust one another that we're going to do a good job for the Grizzlies. And then all the Grizzlies trust each other that they'll do a good job in their classroom. And with all this trustworthiness, we become the best school ever, right? The best one. Yeah, so next week, we're looking for trustworthy as our word of the week. So that will be our theme of next week. Remember, Grizzlies, we just have... After today, we only have three more weeks left. Three more weeks left. All right, guys, we're going to move on to Nurse Appreciation Week. Woo! This week was Nurse Appreciation Week. So Nurse O is not only a nurse, but she's a teacher, so she get, gets to get honored twice this week, right? Uh -huh. Such a good teacher with teaching us about what? About being, about healthy, being healthy, teaching us about that nasty old virus out there, right? Mm -hmm. The coronavirus. So we want to give a shout out to our nurse O. We care so much about you and we really do appreciate you. And she's a very trustworthy employee and a very good friend of the FMG, right? Uh -huh. She does a lot for the school that we don't even realize. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you very much, nurse O got a great attitude and comes to work every day with a smile on her face. All right, so we're going to move on to the health tip of the week with Nurse O. She's having to come up with a video on Nurse Appreciation Week. Isn't that so great? Uh-huh. Okay, where did the coronavirus come from? I know it, but... Okay, but we're not going to blurt it out, are we? Yeah, we're not. We're not. All right, guys, uh, we're going to attach the video, and I want y'all to... Uh, uh, Click on to the attachment after KGL is over, and I want you to learn from Nurse O mm -hmm. where the coronavirus came from. All right? Grizzlies, y'all have a great week. We look forward to seeing y'all today. Uh, show your school spirit when we drive by, okay? And uh, we look forward to seeing you. We haven't seen y'all in a long time, so we'll give y'all a shout out and a wave, and you may see the Gilbert Grizzly flag. 
Guys, y'all have a great weekend and stay safe. The choice is yours.